lies, murder, and meat. This is Dark Simpsons Mysteries. Lisa Simpson is pretty vocal about being a vegetarian. Oh, the earth is the best. That's why I'm a vegetarian. Mom, isn't there anything vegetarian? I don't like McNuggets. I'm a vegetarian. You know I'm a vegetarian. Eating animals is wrong. So very wrong. When will the world learn? I don't know. I just don't know. But what if I told you that it's all a lie? She actually loves meat. I'll have the veal. Join me as I take a deep dive into Lisa's eating habits. This is the case of Lisa, the not-so-vegetarian. There are plenty of clips that show Lisa eating meat, but these are all from before she became a vegetarian. Bacon! We will focus our investigation on episodes after she officially becomes a vegetarian. That means episodes after Season 7, Episode 5. Makes sense to me. Exhibit A. In Season 22's episode, Money Bart, Lisa becomes the coach of Bart's baseball team. After a victory, the team goes out to celebrate, and Lisa can be seen eating pepperoni. And it's no secret as to why. Who doesn't love pepperoni pizza? Systemic, are you hungry? I'm always hungry. Now make with the pizza, fatso. <laughs> You're the stomach. <laughs> Exhibit B. If Lisa loves animals so much, then why is she eating spaghetti and meatballs? Oh my goodness. This was in Season 7, Episode 17, 12 episodes after she officially became a vegetarian. And here we see her enjoying a drumstick. And another drumstick here. And just look at that fat, juicy steak. So Lisa, do you have anything to say in your defense? Like, you know, whatever. Exhibit C. In Season 15's episode, Simple Simpson, Lisa entered a place setting competition. And for dessert, she made... Ella Fix Jello. Jello is definitively not vegetarian. It is made from boiling the skin and bones of her beloved animals. A real vegetarian would have known that. I see. <laughs> and if that's not enough evidence, then take a look at this. Exhibit D. If Lisa doesn't eat meat, then how did she make so many new friends? We both know she didn't win them with salad. You don't win friends 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 with salad. Mom! I didn't mean to take sides. I just got caught up in the rhythm. Everything points to one conclusion. Lisa is secretly back on meat. I love meat and I always will. Mmm, <coughs> that is some sweet pig meat. But why all the lies? Well, this part of the story gets pretty dark. The theory goes, giving up meat was much more difficult than she let on. Yuck, that sandwich is full of meat. There's bacon, Canadian bacon, Mexican bacon. Oh, and a mouth-watering veal chop. <gasps> oh, thank God. Just a dream. <gasps> I've been meat-walking. She missed the taste so much, she even started sleep-eating. It makes sense why her transition off meat would be so difficult. March never let her get off it completely. Now Lisa's going through this phase where she doesn't eat any meat, so I usually sneak a little meat juice into her vegetables. Unable to give up meat, she had to find an alternative. Eating bugs didn't work out, and she couldn't cope with the guilt of eating animals. Please, Lisa, I thought you loved me. Loved me. So her only option was to eat people. Yes, Lisa Simpson is a cannibal. Or at least, that's how the theory goes. And there's more. Many people are shot every day in Springfield, but none of them are important. And at the bottom of the bottom are the homeless people. They go missing all the time and nobody notices. We may never find out what happened to that poor mailbox man. But what we do know is, Lisa has a weekend job helping the poor. I've got a weekend job helping the poor and I'm only eight. <laughs> it's not a job, it's a waste of time. And Lisa's been known to lure them back home and keep them in her closet. No, Hetty, you're a human being. You can sleep in my closet. You can use your imagination to figure out what happens from there. Oh, God, no! Let me out! I couldn't be in more pain! 
Nobody would suspect the vegetarian to be the Springfield cannibal. <laughs> okay, if I stop here, I still have some dignity. Do you have any evidence at all? You bet I do. Just take a look at this excerpt from Lisa's diary. Man, I really come off like a jerk in this thing. I pushed a vagabond under a trolley. What's a vagabond? Homeless guy. <laughs> well, that's all the evidence I need. Arrest the girl. <gasps> what? Hey. She didn't do anything. Give her a nice cell. Something in Seabock. And that solves the case of Lisa, the not-so-vegetarian. We can all sleep in peace now, knowing that the Springfield cannibal has been locked up. Have you seen something strange in Springfield? Let us know in the comments below. And tune in next time for more. Dark Simpsons Mysteries. Dramatization may not have happened. Hmm, your ideas are intriguing to me, and I wish to subscribe to your newsletter. Crowdfunding is when lots of people give you small amounts of money to help your passion project come to life.